her love because she's a crazy one. A new day, it's a new whatever. Hi guys, I'm doing a really bad job at vlogging for you guys, but my skin is not. It's just not having it with me right now. What is going on? Whatever. I went to my dermatologist appointment yesterday. Basically yesterday I just ended up going to the mall. I went to finish my dermatologist appointment. And then, um, yeah, that was basically just it. I came home. My friend Destiny came to my aunt um, to get her hair braided. So that was cool. Living in the hood is kind of hard. Okay, so this is... Okay, so I am so sorry, guys. For some reason, my memory card decided to be so annoying, and I don't have the footage from the first day, but I started using a Diva Cup um, while well, I tried the Diva Cup for the first time, and it was such an interesting experience. So basically, right now, I'm just telling you guys how my first day went and how I'm going to move forward with it, basically. After yesterday, like... I'm sold, like, I am genuinely sold, like, I don't know why I was so nervous to use it before, like, I don't know why it just turned me, anything this cup related turned me all the way off, and I am in love with this thing, like, this thing might be my best friend. I feel like I'm helping the environment, like, I feel so stupid because my period was coming up, so I was like, I need period products, so I went out and bought my always, like, I always I always, like I always do, yeah, I heard that, the noggin. And I got me some tampons, and this has been my regimen for like, since high school, tampons, pads, like, a more, like regular. And I've always heard about Diva Cups and never decided to use one because it kind of sounded, honestly, it sounded gross. Um, but yesterday it was so cool. Um, I didn't, like as soon as I put it, like the most uncomfortable part was like, figuring out how to put it in, but as soon as it was in, I did not feel a thing the same way with like tampons. And I don't know, like when I was first using tampons, um, like the first week or so when I first started, it was a little uncomfortable for me, like I felt it in me. So I don't know if I'm just used to having like period products in there, but the Diva Cup was completely like comfortable like as soon as it was in there i wasn't even sure if i had done it correctly but i didn't feel it and when it was time to come out it was the same thing it wasn't uncomfortable at all until like coming out until i was taking it out and it wasn't really uncomfortable i just wasn't used to it or didn't know what to expect um but literally the diva cup like I feel like my period has been lying to me my whole life. Like with the Diva Cup, you literally see how much blood you're shedding or losing or whatever it is. And it's not that much. Like I feel like on a pad or a tampon, it looks like you're bleeding so much. And then whatever your period symptoms are, just amplify the feeling of like, it just feels like you're gushing everywhere. <laughs> but it's literally like a water bottle cap full of blood. Like. Later on, I'll try and show you a clean Diva Cup and show you how much I collected. Um, but literally not a lot at all. It's kind of like, I'm not going to lie, taking it out. It is a little gross, but it's like those gross things like, um, not gross, but like, grossly, like you, you guys know like Dr. Pimple Popper, like it's disgusting to watch, but you can't stop watching. It's kind of like that. It's like, wow, that's what's leaving my body. But yeah. So that's the Diva Cup. I'm on day two. I love it. I slept with it. I slept with it in, and it was really nice. Like I really enjoyed it. Well, not really nice. I really enjoyed it. I was ner I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not, but I just decided to try it anyways, and it was fine. When I woke up in the morning, I took it out. There was like half a cap full of blood in there. Um, yeah, but I just feel like I. I might be a deep cup girl now. Like, I feel like I've been denying myself this privilege this whole time. Like, now that I think about it, pads and tampons are so messy. Like, well, pads for me. I just, for me with pads, I just, every time I pee or use the bathroom or need to do something down there, I don't want to see all that. I don't want to see all that. When I sneeze or cough, I just feel like, nasty when I have a pad on but I do like to use pads when I go to sleep or um 
if I'm having a really, really light day and don't really feel like having a tampon in. Um, what else? It's rude. And honestly, the only discomfort or like awkward feeling I had down there with the Diva Cup in was if I coughed or if I sneezed, I kind of just felt like, ooh. That was it, but like, that was honestly it. It feels, I just feel like, like it, the fact that it's reusable and like it's just so easy to clean and like just pop it back in there and then discard or whatever and you're not putting any waste into the environment. I'm not the biggest environmental freak, but I do care and that, I feel like I've been wasting so much this whole time just because I was a little grossed out by a little cup. But yeah, I would that like so far day two, I would definitely recommend. I have it in, I have her in right now. Me and her is besties right now, TBH. Me and Miss Diva Cup. Maui and Diva to the end. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow or at the end of my period, just to give you guys like a full like how it's going so far. But so far so good. I'm kind of excited. I didn't think I'd like it at all, actually. <laughs> but I will check back in with you guys a little later. Friends, like ever, one of them made me a whole pan 
of his famous mac and cheese like his mac and cheese is so good um in my birthday vlog if you guys like look close enough everyone's eating his mac and cheese like my mom made so much food and yeah her food's amazing but this mac and cheese was definitely the dish of the night um and my friend is, my other friend is making lasagna so he's going to come pick up a piece so we're doing a little trade-off um yes i don't cook um they do the cooking and they do the cleaning but i'm about to like break him off a piece and bring him some and yeah we're gonna do this little pasta trade-off all my friends are taking my tupperware but it's fine and yeah, i'm about to cut this mac and cheese for him and please 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 do not mind my ugly colored kitchen right now my apartment is a very big work in progress and if you guys have seen my some of my other videos i am bringing you guys along while i'm fixing up my whole apartment it is going to take a very long time and a lot of money but we're gonna do this together i believe in us um yeah let's get to the mac and cheese like he literally gave it to me yesterday and there's barely any left i got a little cut happy but this it's look up it's so cheesy it's so good i don't want to give him too much like I've been real stingy with this mac and cheese and I'm not even gonna hold it. So cut into here. It's so good. Like, how do you make mac and cheese this good? Like, my mom's like, you need to make Julian give us the recipe. So good, so good. If he ever has a restaurant, you guys will love it. Thank God every day that all of my friends cook very well because I am a well-fed girl. One thing about me, I'm gonna eat. Ah, I don't know if it's gonna close. The mac is really, really tall. Wait, does this book match? It looks like it matches. This top matches. That's strange. That's suspicious. Okay, he is all packaged up. Put in a nice little paper bag for him. And we're about to be on our way. Sorry y'all, it's kind of dark out right now. I was supposed to film for you guys like while the sun was still out, but it was really, really cloudy today. So, I mean, that's no excuse for the timing I'm filming, but still, um, it's a little dark, so I apologize. But I am on my way to Walgreens to pick up my prescription from my dermatologist um yesterday after my appointment um he prescribed me like uh acne kind of wash thing and a cream and then another cream that i always go to him for for my skin um just because i really don't know where this like chest acne is coming from i've never had acne in my life i never even get pimples and of course right now i have a pimple but like that would be like the most i would get at a time so like having an influx of pimples is just really like weird to me so i'm glad i'm trying i'm seeing a doctor about it and getting it fixed um like fixed or like figured out so i'm about to go pick up my prescription hopefully i can start using them today and then i'm also gonna drop off john's mac and cheese and he's gonna give me some lasagna so i'm excited about that so let's go <laughs> Yo, why I'm at the pharmacy just trying to get my prescription and it was taking a little bit, like literally five minutes extra than it usually does. Um, and the person behind me gonna start beeping at me as if I can make the pharmacy go faster. It's not making much sense. So literally as soon as he beeps at me, I beep at them back because who are you beeping at? Not me. So I beep at them back and then they like, signal to the person behind them to move so they can get out of line and as soon as they get out of line i get my prescription and we both drive off at the same time and then the person in front and there's a line behind them so they literally just got out of line for being impatient and they could have waited 30 more seconds you see god you see hey i'll make the rules but we're on our way to john's now our little mac and cheese is all ready hopefully you guys didn't see my information just now but <laughs> um yeah we're on our way to john's um guys i got my plate thank you john <laughs>
Just again, is that too much to ask for? Hello, beautiful people. Guess who decided to spontaneously take me to the beach? Not only the beach, but all the way in Rhode Island. He's eating some nuggets right now. It's hot, but it feels so nice next to the beach right now. I had the sunscreen up, yeah, and me. We just came back from swimming. Someone's avoiding the sun. Y'all not about to copyright me. Oh my god guys, so why did we just come back from the water and these nice ladies next to us saved our food because seagulls came and attacked it and tried to take it away. Look, there's a hole in the back. I mean, we were done eating, but still. That was very much rude. Vicious, vicious birds out here. Ryan, how you feeling? Cheers. Thumbnail? Finally got back home guys. I am so freaking tired. The beach will really just take it out of you, like everything out of you. But we are finally back home. I'm about to just chill for a little bit, shower, cause the beach, I just, it's like never ending sand. Like, you know, just sand everywhere. So I'm about to shower, relax for a little bit. And then um, I think I'm gonna go to dinner later. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. So I guess I see you guys then, but Rhode Island was so much fun. That was just like really random and spontaneous. That's what my friends like to do. Um, just literally at 2 a.m. Brian texts me like, you wanna go to Bro Rhode Island tomorrow? I was like, sure, what time? It goes 7 a.m. I'm like, that's in five hours. Okay. <laughs> but we went, we had a great time. The water was so beautiful. The waves were amazing. The beach was so nice. Rhode Island is beautiful. Um, yeah, but about to just chill for a little bit before dinner because I got to get ready. And I might go to Target before that also. It's my bestie's birthday, so we're going to go out and get some food. Um, but yeah. Oh my God. Hey, y'all. I'm trying to drive and film at the same time. But whatever, I am back, I'm ready, or dressed I should say. Um, I'm on my way to dinner with Destiny and the girls for her birthday. She is turning 23, so we're all going out to dinner just to spend time with her, you know. Live it up, it's the birthday. Um, big Leo season, if you're a Leo, comment down below what your birthday is. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go meet up with her right now, and I guess I'll see you guys when I'm there. Today I went with like a grunge look. I really, really like it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, oh my God, there's a cop behind me, gross. Um, I really, really like it. I think it's cute. Um, it literally just came to me. I was planning on wearing just like a plain black dress. I'll show you guys my dress later, but I was planning on just wearing like a plain black dress and then things changed. But yeah, I will go to dinner and show you guys my outfit and the rest of the girls later. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Destiny. Thank you. Happy birthday to you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. I like your guys' shoes. Thanks. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. What are you wearing? Black. Feel. Feel black. Feel black.
They want us to wait till everybody comes before they feed us. Are you excited for your birthday dinner? Yes, I'm ready to eat. Bianca, Bianca. Are you excited to eat? Yeah, girl. I'm excited. Yeah, girl, you're so cute. Yeah. You do it yourself. Now my mom goes to bed. I'll do it. I'm sad. I'm the only one not wearing a black mask. Oh, Bianca's not wearing a black mask either. goodness in the beginning of this week when i decided to do a weekly vlog this week i was like yeah this is gonna be a chill week but like i could tell people like the random things that i do throughout the week whatever whatever i promise you everything that i've done this week was not planned like on a monday i did not know how much of an eventful week this was gonna be and i feel like that's how all of my weeks go and it's just like so random so I'm glad that I started because in the beginning of the week, I was like, I'm not going to film this week. I don't have anything planned. It's going to be so boring, but I was like, I'm going to do it anyways. And now I've literally had like an action packed day, like every day or like multiple times this week, but whatever. Right now I am on my way to Barnes and Noble, just to like pick up a couple of books, you know, you girls would think her. Um, pick up a couple books with my little cousin. And then um, afterwards, it's my girl Linda. Um, it's her birthday. Big Leo season. Like I said before, if you are a Leo, whenever your birthday is, drop it down below in the comments. Um, Big Leo season. She's having a little get together for her birthday. So I'm going to go um, celebrate with her later. And yeah, that's all I really have planned for the day. But like I said before, the day just takes me. So... We will see what happens. Hopefully, I can bring you guys with me through everything. But we're going to go to Barnes & Noble. One thing I wanted to talk about before um, I went in was a thing, something that I've been thinking about. One thing that I've been thinking about is basically, like, 
how we think of wealth and how we think of um, being wealthy or affluent. And a lot of the times when we say those words, we think immediately of money or like belongings. Oh, I have chains. I have all the best, nicest clothes. I have the nicest sneakers. And that is really like that is wealth if it that's the sense of wealth that you want but i was just thinking of like my life and i really think that i'm very wealthy in the sense of like i have so many friends who love me so much and i love them the same i have so many relationships that really mean a lot to me i have a family that i can rely on that i love that like you know like a lot of people don't have that. I have opportunities that come into my life. Um, I have like people who are in my life who want to see me do well, who want to see me excel to the point where I I did not plan a single thing this week, but I've it's just been so action packed. Like I have so many exper like I'm wealthy with experiences and enjoying life. Like I was just thinking about that. Like sometimes I like to think about like I'm not like I just like have negative thoughts about my life and I don't realize girl you are super wealthy like look at how much you are doing with your life look at how happy you are look at everything that's going on like a lot of people aren't living like this so sometimes I like to just take a second and just be like girl like yeah I might not be perfect right now but you got it going on like you there are people I, I don't know personally but there are probably people out there who don't have the things that I have or the things that I take for granted and I'm trying to just like really appreciate those things like I am extremely wealthy when it comes to just life in general like wealth does not equate to just monetary value or like physical things like that you can buy like wealth is like do you have an amazing like not an amazing life, but do you have people in your life that you care about? Are there, are you making experiences? Are you doing new things? Are you traveling? Like in that sense, I feel like I'm very wealthy and I'm just feeling very lethargic today and very just grateful. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that real quick, but let's go buy some books. Okay. Let's go to Barnes and Noble. Come on. <laughs> You should all read, but we're getting some books, y'all. says sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most <laughs> the tea of it all Dad, this random guy comes up to me as my father's ridiculing me about the fact that I don't have a boyfriend and he sits down and says, sorry that I'm late, honey. I've never seen him before. <laughs> and he tells me to just go along with it. My father leaves, we get to talking, and I tell him about the fact that I told my mom that I would not date anyone seriously and fall in love until I was 23 years old because people change so much when they're young. And 
He says, okay, fine, no love. We will meet one day a year for the next five years on November 9th, and we'll just see where it takes us. Oh, and so, I don't know what this means, but I'm kind of excited about it. Ah. The plot of November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Ah. This was the book that she was just referring to. A couple years, <laughs> but... Because when you're in college and you have to read for assignments, I'm not reading for fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Look at my book that I'm picking up and all the ones that she has in her hands. You know, 75? Um, Thank you. We're on FaceTime still. So hang up. Hang up. You, you yelling at me, you're supposed to hang up. Brian, I don't want to hang up on you. He doesn't care. Right. <laughs> Bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. We're about to we're, we're gonna we're gonna come over. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Like we're <laughs> like he hates us. He dead hates us. Hey, about it. Say hi. Hi. My name is Elise, and I think that Moenda is gonna be the one to ruin the night, as per usual. Okay, that's not what this was, <laughs> but oh my god, Elise, I forgot to tell you, we're almost at a thousand views on your video. Oh snap! I'm a. Star. How does it feel to be famous? Feels good, honestly. I always knew it would happen one time. <laughs> Buckle up, because she's a crazy one. Okay, so me and Elise are trying to kill some time, so I think I'm gonna go get vaccinated. I'm already vaccinated because I. She's been vaxxed. Yeah. She ain't got no cares in the world. She she just be taking whatever people give to her. She don't care. Me personally, I just need a little, a little time. But let's see if it's even possible to do that today. She's not. I told her she needs an appointment. She doesn't listen. Okay, well, why do they have signs saying walk in if you can't walk in? Here you go, babe. See, my man, my man got me. <laughs> my man always treat me good, buy me whatever I want. You see that? Bands. You hear who calling? <laughs> <laughs> Not the one single. Okay, let me go take, get my vaccination shot because obviously <laughs> something's wrong with me. Bye. JK guys, they had walk-ins, but um, I don't have my insurance card with me, so I couldn't get it. My bad, another day of being unvaccinated, but we'll get vaccinated soon, don't worry. Okay guys, so because I couldn't get vaccinated, I decided to come bother Brian and Adrian. I'm here too. And, well, Lisa's was already with us, but. You couldn't get vaccinated today? No, I didn't have my insurance card. I thought you could just walk in and do it. <laughs> I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. John, what are we making? Uh, jungle juice. My hands off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maid. Hey, maid. I see you got on your may I feel like you always do. I don't blame you. Made you got it clean. Outfit. I have on a t-shirt. I want a shirt. It's <laughs> on me, oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mac truck. Call your heart, I'm a couple farm and go act up. All the scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm back up. All I do this once a month, I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car, car, car cards and get tatted up. I'm lit. I'm lit. You should be. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Wait, guys, is we starting this or the, the, the liquid first? Can we start pouring the orange? Oh, yeah, you're here. Put it in here. This two. That's three in here already. So let's pour it in. Three. That's three in here. Add it up. 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 Add it up.
that you will be here and give me a sign. Hit me, baby. How do I do it? My vocals? We are on the road, on the road again. She lives, she's alive. I don't know how, like, I don't know how many, like, hangoverless days I have left in my youth, but hopefully we keep going because we're on to the next adventure. Good morning, y'all. Um, it is Sunday. I am on the way to my friend's house because we are going to the lake today. Really hope it doesn't make me dry, but I don't want to dry. Um, but we are going to the lake. I'm going to bring you guys with me. This has been such a busy week. I didn't even realize this week was going to be like this, but I guess I picked a really good week to vlog. <laughs> so let's go. And we're off, guys. Oh my God, Julian, last time we vlogged together, I was wearing this hoodie. Can I not be in the vlog this time? Blast from the past, guys. Julian also agreed to drive because, you know me, kind of lazy. This is we're open. Check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck Country heart, I'm a cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much 